Hello, YouTube Slate Warrior here, and I'm going to bring you a pretty quick discussion today. Uh, if I'm sorry if you hear noises in the background. I'm not re I'm not recording in the normal quiet area that I do, so you may hear some cars driving by or some waves. Uh, but today uh, I've been watching the World Championships, and because of that I haven't really had time to duel and test out things that I'd like to test out for some further archetype discussions. So I, I just decided to bring up uh, my friend Shadal Falco here, <laughs> uh, this picture from the sneak preview. And uh, I don't know why they couldn't just get a regular scanned image, but you know, I guess they just decided to take a picture of the card and put it on the wikia. Uh, but I want to talk about the formatting of the card, starting with the UEA here. Um, the only thing that's really been getting like mainstream um, public published like media is like this here, publicity. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, the only thing that's been getting publicity about the new card format is that the first edition has been moved from here to the bottom, and I personally don't like that. But I'm not really going to be giving uh, my opinion much on that because you know. That's the thing that everybody's been talking about. I want to talk about how this is. The bold letters here in the brackets, uh, it says Spellcaster Flip Tuner Effect. Now, before, the most you would ever see that I can think of would be three. Uh, there was a Formula Synchron would say, I, I, think it's, I think it's Machine, I'm not completely sure, but it would say Machine, um, Synchro, and Tuner. All right, but... The point is that if it was a tuner, and it wouldn't also say effect, it would just say tuner. So any tuner, like Junk Synchron, would say, oh man, I, I have no clue what Junk Synchron is, but it, it would say, is he a, is he, he's a warrior, because uh, obviously, because you can search him with Rota. So it would say warrior, and then tuner, and that's all it would say. And then flip effect monsters, like for instance, Magician of Faith, it would just say spellcaster effect, and the flip would be down here. But uh, now this they formatted it so that if it's a tuner and it has an effect, it will say tuner and effect, which makes a lot more sense than the way it was done in the past. Um, but then also, if it's a flip monster, which there are a lot more flip effect monsters in this set because of the uh, shadow archetype being released, it would be flip in up here as well as down here. And I think that's good too. Uh, it's not as necessary as the tuner effect thing. Like I think that just makes more sense because just because it's a tuner doesn't mean it has to have effect. Uh, for instance, the tuner um, Labradorite Dragon would say dragon slash tuner, even though it doesn't have an effect. So that makes sense, except for the fact that the labeling is the same on something like, hmm, what's a dragon type? Let's, uh, excuse me, um, Debris Dragon, that's the one I was thinking of. Debris Dragon is also a dragon slash tuner, except it has an effect and a very powerful one at that being that it's a limited card. So I think that having tuner and effect is like a little bit easier for people getting into the game. They understand that this is a tuner monster as well as it having an effect, like this is just, this means something down here. Um, so yeah, and then the flip, uh, that makes sense because it's a flip effect. Uh, they put flip in bold down here, but now that we can identify flip effect monsters uh, a little bit easier. Uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal because, I mean, I understand why this is getting the most deal, the most publicity because people love their first edition cards, and I do think this makes it look like it's an unlimited card, like there's no doubt about that, like just glancing over the card, some people are saying, you know, they don't even look at the entire card, they just look at this, and they're like, oh, it must be an unlimited card. Like, I, I saw uh, somebody talking on Facebook about how, oh, I thought the sneak pre preview was supposed to have only first edition cards. Like, of course it's supposed to have first edition cards, you're just not looking at the right spot. So, tell me what you guys think about the new formatting of the cards. Uh, the reason they used all Falco is because he's the card that I could remember that had all four of these. Uh, so, you know, if it was a Synchro Monster, it would say Synchro here. If it was a Fusion, it would say Fusion. Um, and yeah, I just want to know what you guys think about the new formatting of the cards. Tell me what you think about first edition because it's probably the one that you guys care about the most. I know it definitely looks a lot worse. I, I completely agree. Tell me if you think that putting flip here is necessary. Uh, I personally don't mind it. I think it's good. Uh, I know that when they reprinted stuff in uh, Battle Pack 3, they did change the format. So any new tuners that were printed in that set, which I'm not sure if there were any, but I know that they changed the format to the first editions down here. So if there were any tuners in Battle Pack 3, I know that they actually put tuner and effect up here. If there are any flip effect monsters, I know that they put flip up here as well as down here. Uh, so tell me what you think about that. You know, we've got a, a couple sets out that have it now, so I think it's relevant enough to talk about. Tell me what you think about the flip, the tuner, and the effect at the same time, and the first edition being moved out. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Like this if you enjoyed it. Favorite it if you liked it that much. And I will see you later, YouTube.